everybody welcome back to bc kids church at home we are so excited to be back we hope you've had a great summer and we hope that you've had a good start to school this week and yeah we are really excited to be back we have got a new series for you all about a man named moses you may recognize that name from the bible and we're going to learn about and share all the important things that happened in his life and how God was always with him. But before we listen to our Bible story today, let's play a game. Today we are going to hear a story called Baby Moses. It's a story about how God protected Moses even when he was a baby. If you haven't already, pause the video here and go and grab your Bibles. You'll find this story in Exodus, which is in the second book of the Bible, and it's in chapters 1 and 2. So you can follow along the story in your Bibles as you listen. Stories of the Bible. Baby Moses. This is Moses. Hello. Moses was a descendant of Joseph's brother Levi. Hey. Joseph and his brothers had many children and grandchildren who lived happily in Egypt. Eventually, a new pharaoh came to power who knew nothing of Joseph or what he had done. This pharaoh feared the Israelites because there was a great number of them living in Egypt, so he wanted to put a stop to their prosperity. Pharaoh made the Israelites slaves. He made them work long, hard hours building up Egyptian cities. But his plan didn't work, and the Israelites grew more in number and in strength. Eek. So Pharaoh made a rule that no Israelite boy would be allowed to live in Egypt. This is where Moses' story begins. You see, when Moses was born, his mother saw that he was a special baby. Hmm. And she kept him hidden for three months. But when she could no longer keep him a secret, she made a basket and put him in the Nile River among the reeds. Moses' sister stayed to watch what would happen to her baby brother. And soon the Pharaoh's daughter came to the edge of the river. When she saw the basket, hey. she sent her servant to get it. When she saw the baby, she felt sorry for him, uh -huh. thinking he must be an Israelite baby who wasn't supposed to live. Then Moses' sister asked the princess if she would like her to find an Israelite woman to take care of the baby. Uh -huh. So Moses' sister went and got her mother. Moses' own mother took care of him until he was old enough to live in the Pharaoh's house, where the princess adopted him as her son. And so Moses, an Israelite boy who wasn't supposed to live, became the adopted grandson of the Pharaoh and lived in the palace as God prepared him for a great destiny that was only just starting to unfold. Wow, what an incredible story. God protected Moses the entire time that he was in the basket in the River Nile. Now, I don't know if you know, but the River Nile is no ordinary river. It's not like the rivers that you may have been paddling in this summer with your brothers and sisters. Oh no, this was a river that had some animals in it. Things like snakes, uh, maybe even crocodiles, uh, maybe even big rhinos. So it must have been so hard for Moses' mum to put her precious baby in a basket, in the River Nile. She must have trusted God so much. 
And that's reminded me and can remind you as well that we can trust God. He knows what's going to happen. He has a plan for our lives, just like he has a plan for Moses' life. And we can trust him, even when we know, even when we don't know what's going to happen. So let's think about that now as we worship God. I can be patient in times of trouble I will wait, my hope is in you God I can obey, remember what you say I will pray, my hope is in you A future I can see I flash forward and believe I am sure you will come through You make things good, you always do A future I can see I flash forward and believe I am sure you will come through You make things good, you always do I'm happy I'm happy Because of the hope The hope, the hope that I have I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy Because of the hope term and we want you to join in too. This week we want you to make Baby Moses a basket in just 60 seconds. You can use anything that you like that you've got in the home, so maybe paper, cardboard, some play-doh or lego. Build Baby Moses a basket in just 60 seconds. You can watch me having a go but let's see if you can do even better. Send me the photo of what you've made and I can share it in next week's video. Bible Bill Challenge. Well, I hope you have had fun learning all about baby Moses and I hope that you'll remember that just like in this story, we can trust God and that he has a plan for our lives. 
Let's just pray together now before we go. You can either put your hands out or maybe put your hands together. Just close your eyes so that you can chat to God. Father God, we just thank you that we can meet. Thank you, Lord, for all the children that are watching this video. Lord, we thank you for the story of baby Moses and how you protected him. Help us to remember that we can trust you and that you have a plan for our lives. Amen. Well, I hope you have a great week and we will see you all again next week. God bless. Bye.